July 3, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and five months since the invasion of Crimea. Day 495 of Special Putin's operations. Lee Resolution Day. Hero Yam Slava. Big picture. Fighting was muted in the last 24 hours as summer heat and clear skies made movement dangerous. Ukraine's air force was able to complete 11 attacks on enemy positions, including logistic hubs and supply caches. The Kremlin has shifted a number of troops on the Zaporizhia front over the last week. Ukraine's efforts to destroy enemy attack capacity continues with strong results, with another 11 infantry armored vehicles, five more tanks, and 25 various pieces of support equipment destroyed in just 24 hours. Replacing these specialized units will not be easy for the Kremlin, which is facing skilled labor shortages, embargoes, and economic sanctions. Nipa Line Ukraine appears to be invested in holding the Antoivka Bridge and the island at Dacia. The Kremlin carried out some light shelling along the river. Zaporizhia Front The Kremlin moved multiple thousand troops to the line south of Orykiv over the last week, including the movement of the 71st Guards Motorized Rifle Regiment from its previous identified location at the Mokryola River. At the Mokryola River Valley, it appears the Russian army may be attempting to make infiltration with recently mobilized infantry units, as multiple reports of combat were reported at this front. Shelling along the Zaporizhia front was among the heaviest reported. East Front, Donetsk. Artillery and artillery exchanges dominated reports from this area, as it saw the highest number of reported attacks by both sides. No ground attacks were reported in the last 24 hours. Bakhmut area. The Kremlin appears to have made its largest attacks in this area over the last 24 hours. Heavy shelling and ground attacks were reported, with reports of Ukraine rebuffing the enemy assaults. Oskol border front. This northern section of the east flank was mostly quiet in the last 24 hours. Shelling was limited to the forests around Kremina. Northern border. The Kremlin expanded shelling and drone attacks along this front over the last day. The Ministry of Defense of Ukraine made warning last week to residents along the Sumy border to evacuate due to increased shelling. No troop buildup has been reported with this shelling, suggesting the Kremlin is simply aiming to attrit and frustrate. Black Sea. The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense has shown it loves 80s pop music, using it to remind Kremlin oligarchs and any Russian war pigs that Crimea is Ukraine. Ukraine world related. Germany and Poland are currently delayed in a plan to repair battle damaged equipment in Poland. Poland appears concerned about making a warranty against the lives of users on repairs to battle equipment that has already taken battle use and damage, and Germany appears concerned over the upfront costs to deal with what will be highly variable damages suggesting non-standard examination and repair requirements. Support in the US for sending arms to Ukraine has increased to over 65% since the destruction of the Novokakovka Dam. Switzerland is considering shedding neutrality so it can sell and send weapons to Ukraine. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.